Hello everybody and welcome to another tutorial. Today I am going to teach you how to set up ManyCam with Google Slides. I'm going to be a little bit glitchy just because of the amount of space my ManyCam, Chrome, and my um, Mo, how do you pronounce it? Movavi, Movavi um, screen recorder works. But you don't need to see me a whole lot anyway, so don't you worry about that. All right, so I've gone ahead and as you can see, I have wiped out a good amount of my feeds here. Um, and this is because I do, let me get rid of feed five too. Uh, I do want to show you from scratch how to set up ManyCam with Google Slides. So as you can see, I have my ManyCam open. Hey! All right, let's see how to set up for Google Slides. Now, the first thing I do is use custom areas. And I'm going to show you the different feeds I use. I'll take you through my feeds real quick. My feed number one is right here. Hey, it's me. My feed number two is my timer that um, my um, little slide that I have when I'm welcoming students to class. Sometimes I'll just line this up with the class start time. I'm never there five minutes early. Come on, pshaw. Maybe two <laughs> minutes. Um, so the student will see this little countdown while I'm in class. Um, so they know teacher's there, but you know, they don't start yelling, teacher, I can't see you. Um, I have, uh, oh, I, I must have deleted everything else. Well, I got to put some things back. I have one which is like a family photo because I do the My Family Trials quite a bit. So I like to um, add in my family photo um, and I have some other ones, but we're going to focus on my Google Slides. So let's go ahead into uh, my Google Slides that I have for the day. So I'm going to open up. Uh, let me move this here, Google Chrome. Let's go, Google Chrome. All right, now Google Chrome is a memory suck. It does, it takes up a ton of memory on your computer, um, but it's what I use for my Google Slides. So I'm just gonna try to shrink the screen down. Hey. Now I have a large 27 inch monitor, so I have a lot of room on my screen, but I also have two monitors. So you can set your Google Slides up on your second monitor, okay? So however you choose to set it up, that's up to you. You can have, you know, um, your classroom on one monitor. Now I tend to have my classroom right up here. My classroom up here, I think you get the idea. And then my ManyCam right below. So we're gonna just close this out. All right, awesome. So let's go back into setting up. So now that I have Chrome open, I have some slides that I had, you know, saved for um, today. So I'm just going to go right into my bookmarks. And I'm going to go into today. I just saved some slides off of my planner, but I just did this for the sake of whatever. I'm going to have a lesson slide. And I'm going to open up another one that is a reward slide. And I'm going to open up uh jeopardy slide because i think that's kind of awesome days of the week jeopardy okay so now let's get many cams set up so you can go ahead and use many cam and google slides so the first thing i'm going to do is designate an area or what i want for feed number let's say three so my feed number three i'm going to want to do a custom desktop area so i'm going to go to desktop and I'm gonna to go to custom area. All right, now I'm gonna transition on over to feed three and a little grid is going to show up. It was just hiding on my other monitor. It's gonna show up. All right, so how do I set this up? I am going to go into, I like to put my um, slides, my slide props up at the top. I'm gonna to just set this up. I'm gonna get rid of the word edit and beyond and I'm gonna type preview. This gets it into that nice presenter mode that I like, and I'm going to put it up here in the corner. All right, so now we have it here. I'm going to take this little box and I'm going to just perfectly place it over here. Now I also like to, I'm going to go into where it says presets, and I'm going to add a new layer, and that's going to be my camera right here. All right, so now I'm picture in picture for my level, uh, for my feed number three. Now I have my hotkeys set up. If you don't have hotkeys set up, go into your settings um, and you can choose to have your hotkeys set on, whether you hit alt or control. Let's talk about those hotkeys. Um, the hotkeys keep you from having to use your mouse. So if I want to go and I hold down alt one, alt one, I hold down, I'm sorry, alt three, it, it does a neat little, do you see this little slower transition between my feeds? Okay, if I hit control three, it just quickly 
you know, control three, control one, control three. It just quickly switches me back. But anyway, here I am. Now, the nice thing about it too is, you know, if I have something on this slide that I want the student to see, say the slide says peaceful, I could be like, look, I'm on the, I'm on the little dock. You know, I use my picture lots of times as a cursor. All right. So now let's set up my reward. So the, the reward I have, I like to put as uh, feed four, whatever feed you like. I'm just, I'm used to feed four. I'm going to change this to preview. So we get that um, presentation mode, that presenter mode that we like. I'm going to trans, uh, I'm going to add, I'm sorry, right here, I'm just clicking on, you could do it two ways. I can click on here to add, or I can go into my presets, all right? But first I have to add it. Before you'll see it in this preset, you actually have to add it here. So I'm gonna hit the plus sign. Once again, I'm gonna go into desktop and I'm going to go into custom area. Now, when I go, see now how, see how it's here now? When I go to preset four, it's gonna give me that grid again. It's just on my other monitor. All right, and I am going to put this over my rewards. So as you can see up here, I have my lesson props and here I have my reward pop, props. So if you didn't, if you didn't have enough room for both, that would be okay. I would just have this up here and I would, you know, use my, I would switch back between the tabs and just my feed three. But my monitor is big enough to allow me to have um, the other feeds. So I take advantage of that. All right, so as you can see now in feed four, it's now my reward. I'm gonna go into the main screen of this reward, so I'm gonna show you something else that I like to do. I'm gonna edit this, I'm gonna add a new layer, and I'm gonna add myself in um, picture on picture. So here I am, and once again, now I could use myself as a cursor. What color do you like? You know, then what number do you like? Now I also have a second feed for my rewards. And that one is going to be feed number five. Again, it could be whatever feed you want. I'm going to go back into desktop and I'm gonna select custom area. And I'm going to make this actually be the exact same as what my feed number four is. It's a duplicate. I'm gonna do the same thing again as I did for feed number four. And I'm just gonna go ahead and show you why I choose to do this. I'm gonna add myself, add new layer. I'm gonna put myself in there as a camera at my picture on picture. All right, here's why I like to do this. If you look and I go back between feeds five and feeds four, I mean, other than my picture moving, the screen is, oh, <laughs> the screen is the same. It's both are on the rewards, okay? But when I'm on five, I can draw on it. So that's why I like to do this. So I'll ask the student, you know, pick a, pick a whatever they want. So say they pick yellow 200. I go into my drawing tools and I just kind of like cross it out, yellow 200. Then I go into feed four and now is where I actually would click on the reward. The student would answer. I close it and I can go back to feed five and now we can, you know, cross another one, say they want this one, I switch to feed four and that's where I do my reward. Okay, so you can see why I like to have two of those um, for my particular rewards. And the nice thing about using the Google Slides, you know, if I'm in my, my lesson prop feed and we're clicking um, and I wanna do something fun, like what's the perimeter here if we're on this particular slide, you know, I can write on here, you know, I can tell the student if this is five and this is 10, let's work on the perimeter. So I can, you know, I usually use the drawing tools as well when it comes to my lesson props. So now I have Google Slides set up, you know, I've taken it off the planner. That's a whole nother lesson. I have my Google slides set up where I can switch. So I would start my class with my countdown. Then we're into like, hey, how are you? And then we're going into our lesson slides. I'm teaching. Then we're coming back. Hey, hey, here I am again. Then we're going into our reward slides. Then we're selecting our reward and then we're continuing on. It works great. It works lovely. I will have my day's worth of, um, props, like lesson props all ready to go up here. And I'll have my day's worth of rewards all ready to go down here. And then I'm awesome. Google Slides along with ManyCam just flies through. I hope you found this to be helpful. I wish you much luck and success with your Google Slides and ManyCam. Of course, incorporate any of the digital props that you want to do along with it. For example, like when I play Jeopardy, I tend to have the text box up here and I will have the student, you know, I'll keep track with the student. Oops. 
oopsie doopsie i'll keep track uh, of the student um and we'll just keep adding up, you know, how much money they have as we go. Um, so that's kind of fun. You know, I still, of course, give my stars off to the side or whatever rewards I'm doing. Um, if it's the student's birthday, you know, I'll quickly pop in and we'll sing happy birthday to them. So I'm always using all the other features that ManyCam has combined with my Google Slides and rewards. All right, everybody. I hope, again, you found this to be super helpful. I enjoyed making this video for you. I hope you find my videos helpful please remember to subscribe to my youtube channel and i'll take it and i'll take care yeah i will but most importantly you take care everybody thanks and goodbye